I probably have more issues with my neck, but then, you know, like the normal thing happens where you're like walking and you step off something wrong and all of a sudden your back's wrenched from okay. that. So those are usually the common things that happen. So, so the neck pain is just, it comes in and then it's, it disappears or does it rest? Sometimes it's all day long. It can be, I mean, one time I was just laying in bed reading my phone and when I got one to get up, it was just all shooting down. Okay. So, yeah. Do you ever get pain down your arms? Pain, not necessarily. Sometimes I get tingly. Okay. Yeah. Does it go to your fingers? On occasion, I'll have a little bit of that, like, pins and needles, but it's never, like, an ongoing thing. It's an occasion. Yeah. Okay, very good. Do you get headaches? Sometimes, but not too bad. Yeah. Okay, very good. All right, uh, let's go to the low back pain. How, how many days a week do you have low back pain? Lower back? I mean, only if it's situational, if I'm bending over a lot at work. Okay. So not not regularly. It's usually more the mid is okay. my area. All right. Uh, so that comes from working. And you said bending over at work? Like, oh, like leaning over to, yeah, to work on somebody. Yeah, because I'm five foot ten, so people, I have to bend over a lot to do people in my chair. So. Do you have any other issues? Ankles, knees? Uh, I dislocated my shoulder three times. Okay. So this one I always tend to be a little, even like getting massages, I hope it tense up because... I'm afraid of it coming out ever again. Wrists, elbow? You know, my flexibility in my wrists is not great. Okay. I've always had sensitive... I used to take Muay Thai and kickboxing about 20 years ago, and I've had... I've jammed my wrists several times, so I can't really bend further than that comfortably. Okay. Yeah. You've never been adjusted by a chiropractor before? Never. No. Like I said, I've seen one, and they did the x-rays, they did all like the stuff like that, but they just kind of like used the massage gun on me. They never actually cracked, anything. cracked me or anything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. All right. So we'll start off. We're going to do an exam first. I'm going to watch you walk. We'll do a gait analysis. Mm -hmm. We'll look at your spine. Uh, then we'll spend some time warming up, loosening up your spine, getting it ready for the adjustment. Before I adjust you, I'll tell you what I'm doing. We'll practice one first just so you can kind of feel it. Okay. We'll go nice and slow. There's usually not any pain uh, with associated with the adjustment. I wouldn't expect that. Uh, and if you have any questions at any time, stop me and let me know. Okay, sounds good. Okay, looking at the feet first, we have heel strike, mid stance, and toe off. Look very symmetrical. And I don't see any deviations, no supinations, no pronations, no eversions or inversions. Very strong feet, though. Like, very, there's like a stiffness in your feet almost, but it's just like, you yeah. see, like, gripping the floor. Yeah. I got to like a hawk talon. Right. Now it looks like we have a higher shoulder on the right. And there was a little bit of head tilt to the left there, but she just corrected that too. Arm swing looks even. Uh, uh, looks symmetrical. Good. Yeah, that looks symmetrical. And the, the hip is higher on the left. Okay, you can stop right there. And let's see. Shoulders look very close to even there. I do see a translation in the cervical spine. Where we're just a little bit, the head's just shifted off to the side, just a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. All right, I'm going to touch the bottom of your foot, okay? Sure. All right, arches are intact. Good, you can turn around and go that way. Left arch is slightly more decreased than the right. No bowing, no pronation. Uh, just observing the spine. Go, let's bring your head back just a little bit. Good, yeah, so I do see a little bit of that postural hump here. It's not too bad, it's slight. As long as you're aware of your posture, this shouldn't get any worse. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you're you're young enough that you can still control this. It's good. All right, I'm gonna do a very gentle scan on top of your spine. We're gonna stop you right there. Very consistent, actually. But most of what I feel here, I'm going to do a temperature evaluation. The back of the fingers are more sensitive to temperature. Okay. Right in the, in the upper mid spine here, right in between your shoulder blades, your rhomboid muscles. We're getting a lot of work here. This is like when you're holding up your arms mm -hmm. to do hair. Yes. Your, these muscles right here are working really hard to stabilize your scapula like this. Yep. But overall, very consistent, symmetrical from left to right. Maybe a little bit in this lower right lumbar too, we'll see. 
Okay, I'm going to push a little bit deeper into the muscles. Mm -hmm. Okay, most of the muscle tension is at the very top of the yeah. spine. Okay, this is the trapezius muscle. Mm -hmm. We do have some trapezius tightness here. This is a trigger point of the trapezius muscle. All right, so I'm gonna work on this trigger point right now. We're gonna do this, I'm gonna work on this trigger point three or four times throughout this session. So we're gonna start with this one right now. Okay, my feeling is that you have high pain tolerance. Fairly, yes. Okay, deep breath in. Okay, this is a rhomboid trigger point. We're gonna work on this one now. Okay, deep breath in. Okay, this is the part of your spine that jumps out to me the most. Right here in the middle. Okay. Oh. Good. Do you ever get any constriction with breathing? Any tightness in your chest? Um, I mean, I have anxiety, so yeah. Ooh. Good movement in the scapula here. Okay, overall, this is very mechanically straightforward. You don't have any curvatures here. No pinched nerves, no herniated discs, no anything like that. Um, you know, this possible arthritis up here, we'll take a look. We're definitely gonna do a lot of adjusting, a lot of work up here, uh, and then cervical spine as well. Good, back up. Down. Okay, minimal movement here at the C7. Coming up, assessing six, five, and four. C6, seven is the least movement right here and here. Let's see, let's test it to in lateral flexion. Almost no movement there. Okay, they definitely have some restriction here. How's that feel? I feel tight, you know. Yeah, when do they feel equal? Um, One side more than the other. I feel like I can lean more to my right than my left. Smoother, more range of motion yes. there. Yeah, like I stop out there, I feel. Hip rotation. So the first thing you're gonna feel are my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings. Okay. Okay, we're gonna slide up to the glute folds here. It's just very slightly lowered on the right, but almost perfectly even. And looking from the top, we have, uh, go ahead and even up your toes so that we can see here. There you go, like that, uh -huh, that's good. Okay, then looking from the top, we're definitely externally rotated on the left. So the left glute is like out further like this. That mm -hmm. means the ilium has gone out like this. Okay. So you have a left DX, and then the right one is higher, so it's, that one's 
come up like this. Oh. Also the stability of the pelvis. Uh, so go ahead and just stand there, let your arms relax. Go ahead and then close your eyes. Good. Mostly forward to back there. There's a little bit of left, but you caught it quickly. Mm -hmm. Good. It wants to come to the left. That's really primarily that forward to back swing. Okay, you can open your eyes. Here, good. Your back is centered. Good. Right leg is short on initial. I'm going to bend your feet here. Just try to let me do the work. Good. Bend your knees. Right short. Stay short. Good. Okay, I'm going to push down into your pelvis. Do you have any pain discomfort here? Nope. Here? Mm-mm. L5 here. I'm good. <laughs> go down. Okay, let me do the work. Don't help me. Okay. Trapezius muscle. It sounds like you're into exercise stuff, so you're probably aware. Mm -hmm. This is your trapezius muscle here. Mm -hmm. So we did that trigger point here. We're going to do another one in a second. Okay. Rhomboid was the other one here. Mm -hmm. Rhomboid trigger point still there, still prominent. Trap fiber actually feels like we we did some good work there. We're gonna do another one in a minute. Tender? Do this rhomboid mm -hmm. trigger point again. Okay, just kind of breathing into it. Good breath, one more. Woo! Oh, oh. That's usually where I need it <laughs> massaged more often. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. Okay, that was the rhomboid. Here's the troop. Here's a trapezius. Good. Another deep breath in. Okay, good. Your stomach's moving. <laughs> Thank you.
Ah, je vais. Okay, let's practice one first. Don't crack already. Okay, so you're gonna take a deep breath in, just practicing, not cracking yet. You're gonna take a deep breath in. And out. Good. I'm gonna follow your breath down with my hands like this. And at the end of your breath is when we push like that, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Now, I'm gonna work a little bit past conservative, but you have a high pain tolerance, so this should be fine for you. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start right here in the middle. Go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose. Good, we're gonna follow the breath down there. As you breathe out, we're gonna just lean, go back towards the table, okay? Okay. Hold the slouch the whole time. Okay, let's give it a try, deep breath in. Good, breathe out. Good, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, good. Yeah. Good, one more. <laughs> good, all the way down, all the way down. <laughs> wow. All right, so. All right, so this one, uh, this, is, this hip has gone forward like this mm -hmm. and out like this. So I'm going to use my hand to push it back that way. I'm okay. going to use my hip to push right here to push the EX back this way. Okay. All right, so nice and gentle breathing, following your breath. Good, and as you breathe out, we're going to stretch your shoulders up like this, and then we're going to bring this down like this and push it, okay? Okay. okay go ahead and take a deep breath in. And out. Good. We're going to bring this down. Good. Oh. <laughs> Good. Wow. I feel so much looser over there. Okay, so same thing here. Here, I gotta recenter you just a little bit. Get my shoulders this way so it's nice and straight on the table. Okay, you're breathing. As you breathe out, shoulders are coming this way. We're gonna bring this down. Good, this is an IN, so we're gonna come down a little bit further. Don't worry, you're not gonna fall, okay? Mm -hmm. Good, breathing. Good, and out. Good shoulders, relax, let the hips go. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> Crunchy, man. It's wild, I feel like flat now. Like I felt like I was so rigid. This is nice. Okay, this is how we measure how to adjust the neck. So please turn your head to the right. Center. Left, center, Good. bring your right ear down to your shoulder, center, bring your left ear down to your shoulder, center. I'm so nervous about my neck.
<laughs> That's good. I mean, you relax. and dental. Okay, we're gonna start off on the left side. Mm -hmm. Nice and gentle, just kind of sink in here. Let your shoulders relax. I'm gonna follow your breath. So I'm gonna do this super gentle. I can be a little bit more conservative here. I don't have to push as hard like I was in your rest of your spine. Your neck is more flexible. I'm just going to follow your breath just like this. And at the end of your breath, you're pushing that direction like that, okay? Mm hmm okay, Gentle breathing. Good. Let the head and shoulders just sink in. Good. Very good. Drop. Let it go. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So first, let's test and find out where this needs to be adjusted. Good. Seven, six, five. I'm not counting down, I'm counting segments. Four, three, two is moving, one is moving. Good, just like the other adjustment, I'm following your breath. Just trying to let your head and shoulders relax as best you can right there. Good. Let this go. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's give this a little pull. Oh. All right, so first we're going to do the ileocecal valve release. This is the window between the large and the small intestine. We locate it first by locating the uh, umbilical here, and then the ASIS, the front of the hip here. We connect these two. Oh, yeah, you're up down way. You're just pumping right now. Okay, we connect these two points. That's where we start looking for the valve. It's usually slightly tender, and that's mm -hmm. normal. Good. Let's do some nice deep belly breaths right here. Good. That valve is clear. Next, we're going to do the pyloric sphincter. This is two inches above the belly button. This is where the stomach empties into the small intestine. Okay, so this is a diaphragm release. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna follow your breathing. Good and out.
else out there. Pressure on the ears okay there? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's give it a try. Go and take a deep breath in. And out. Mm. Oh, wow. Whoa. Am I taller? A little bit. <laughs> did you feel it all the way down? I did. Yeah, it's huge. Your spine doesn't ever move in that direction. No. I'm so warm. Like my toes and stuff. It's wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh, a woozy. <laughs> That's wild. This. I feel, for the first time, probably loose. I've never felt this loose. Hold them together, hold them together. Don't let me pull it apart. Hold, hold, turn your wrists over. Hold, hold. Hey, so this, I feel let the hand relax over there. Let this relax here. Go look straight ahead. Oh. One, push your left elbow back against my hand here. Push, hard as you can. Ooh. Okay, let's do the right one. I've got it stabilized. This is not going to dislocate your shoulder, okay? okay. Push. Oh. Okay, let your hands relax. Oh.
If you're listening to the sound, then you're right here right now. And the sound carries our consciousness. It's a vehicle. Intentions become reality with attention. You pay attention to something and where attention goes, energy flows.